We live in a world that seems to have an obsession. An obsession with the lifestyles of the rich and the famous. We crave information on their personal lives and hunger at any chance for a glimpse into scandal. It seems the most important thing for society is to be in the know about who is rolling around the sheets with whom and who is making puppy dog eyes at each other. The interesting part of this concept is that we don't care if the gossip is about people we know. Honestly, some people prefer the gossip only in relation to celebrities. But why? What caused this extreme animalistic desire to be in the know about people you don't know? As a millennial, I understand that having a smartphone has opened up a whole new world. We have apps to give us any bit of information we desire. Want to say how you feel? There's an app for that. Want to post a picture? There's an app for that. Want to chat to people? There's an app for that. Want to blog? There's an app for that. You might realize the trend occurring. The craziest part is, if you want to look at what your favorite celebrities are doing on social media, you can use all the apps you are already using. You can also be close to the hottest celebrity gossip along your closest friends, aka the media. It seems the media craves celebrity love life gossip as much as you do. Now, I can't say that our hunger for this juicy gossip hasn't always been there. Even in the days of our parents and grandparents, there was still some desire to know which celebrity was with who. The dirt was still there, but it was given to the common folk differently. For a long time, the information given wasn't really anything scandalous. If the two people involved in the gossip were single, male and female, and puppy-eyed, their love story was passed on to the public. For years, cheating, sex before marriage, homosexuality, and pretty much anything immoral was kept from the public. How, you might ask? If you were under contract at any studio, it was your studio's job to pay the press to keep their mouths shut about anything scandalous. The press turned a blind eye to the celebrity scandal because if they didn't, the studio was coming for them. There were gossip columnists who posted certain things, but even they knew when to keep their mouths shut. So now comes the biggest question. When did this all change? When did our fascination streamline to obsession? When did celebrity love lives become more important than other stories reported? My hunch is millennials have something to do with this and that my generation cares way too much about what is going on with celebrities. However, to get clarity on my belief and to prove whether or not I am a cynic, I had to go and talk to different people in different stages of life. I talked to millennials, my parents, and my grandparents to try and figure out where this shift happened and to see if I am just bashing my generation. I asked each age group similar questions about celebrity love stories and compared what each generation knew. Here is a taste of some of my findings. Do you feel like you know too much about celebrity love lives? I, I want to say no because I only know what they tell us. You really don't know what happens behind closed doors because they try to keep their lives as private as they can. So I do know everything there is to know that they put out to the media, but everything in general, I don't think so. Do you feel like you know too much about celebrities' love lives? No. Well, me personally, no. I don't know too much about celebrities' love lives. However, I do feel that too much of celebrities' love lives are put into media. Do you feel like you know too much about celebrities' love lives? As a matter of fact, no. I know way too little. <laughs> Do you feel like you know too much about celebrities' love lives? Absolutely. Do you think millennials know too much about celebrity love lives? Mm-hmm, absolutely. Absolutely, and I think it runs their lives. Oh, yes. Yes, I do. I guess it's up to you whether you want to know about it or not. Bill Cosby in the news. There have been allegations throughout the years that Bill Cosby has sexually assaulted women, and it was recently brought into the um, the spotlight last year when Hannibal Burris made a joke about it um, and said, "No, like that's real stuff. Go look that up." Um, I don't know the exact number, but he's accused of slipping something into several women's drinks and 
having his way with them. He's being accused by a bunch of women that he, he basically date raped them. Mm, he did kinky sex with a lot of women. Bill Cosby has been accused by quite a few women of sexually, drug, uh, sexually assaulting them after he drugged them. Bill Cosby was officially called a rapist by comedian Hannibal Burress in 2014. Not even a month later, Cosby was first publicly accused of sexual assault by one of his victims. Cosby has since been accused of sexual assault by over 50 women. No. I think that he um, was accused of raping a young girl. Um, he, nothing ever happened in terms of bringing him to court because he left the country. And I don't think he's ever returned. Polanski was, if I recall, was dating someone much younger and he fled the country and has yet to return as far as I know. Underage uh, child, molestation. Roman Polanski was caught in a scandal in 1977. He gave 13-year-old Samantha Gailey champagne and a sedative. Polanski had sexual relations with the girl, and when he was brought to justice, he had a fear of imprisonment. So therefore, he fled the country and hasn't returned since.